Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't see it. You can't touch it. You can't smell it. You can't feel it. But that doesn't stop scientists from spending billions of dollars, decades, and a whole lot of resources from looking for it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dark Matter! Captain Dark Matter. Oh my god, I'm in Dark Matter world. This is a Dark Matter matter. This is fantastic. Hello, science. Dark Matter. Dark Matter! Dark Matter world. Oh, we are seeing Dark Matter world, man. It's trippy. Well, what do you know? After a 70-year search, scientists have found absolute and undeniable direct proof of dark matter. And it's somewhere in this photo. I don't necessarily know where. It's probably the dark parts. That would be my guess. But why don't we read a little direct proof of dark matter? This composite image shows the galaxy cluster 2E0657-56, also known as the bullet cluster. This cluster was formed after the collision of two clusters of galaxies. A cluster is just galaxies upon galaxies. It's kind of like a galaxy stack. You know how you stack pancakes? Same thing with galaxies. A hot gas detected by the Chandra in x-rays is seen as two pink clumps. I like the way you're talking, man. In the image, it contains most of the, quote, normal, unquote, or baryonic matter in the two clusters. The bullet-shaped chump, oh, I'm sorry, the bullet-shaped clump on the right is the hot gas from one cluster, which passed through the hot gas from the other larger cluster during the collision. It's kind of like galaxy sex, you know, celestial penetration, literally. An optical image for Magellan and the Hubble Space Telescope shows the galaxies in orange and white. The blue areas in this image show where astronomers find most of the mass in the clusters using the effect of so-called gravitational lensing where light from the distant objects is distorted by intervening matter. Most of the matter in the cluster, blue, is clearly separate from the normal matter, pink, giving direct evidence that nearly all of the matter in that cluster is dark. Wait, what? Kinda looks like a Pac-Man ghost, if you turn it upside down. It's a pretty picture and all, man, but what? Let's read that again. The blue areas in this image show where astronomers find most of the mass in the clusters. I go back to my point that I've been sticking to, you know, for since I have my channel. Just because you photograph something a hundred million light years away, I don't care how good your camera is, doesn't mean you know everything about that galaxy. Like, hey, we took a picture. I mean, I'm, I'm missing the point here. Like, I'm failing to see direct proof of dark matter. I'm not doubting your science. I'm probably just too stupid. Okay, so... How are the blue areas have the most mass? How can you tell? I mean, out of this photo. Oh yeah, gravitational lensing. Yeah, I'm not seeing it though. I'm not doubting you. I mean, I mean, I'm scientifically illiterate. That's why I do these videos. I'm trying to learn, you know. Trying to learn. So the concentration of mass is determined on the effect of so-called. You're already even calling it so-called. So-called gravitational lensing, where the light has been distorted. I mean, how can you tell the light has been distorted? The so-called thing works. You can clearly tell that the mass is separate. No, I can clearly tell that there's pink and blue. I mean, that isn't as clear as, like, there is a fish in the fishbowl. All right? Like, if I'd said, there's such a thing, man, as goldfish. Goldfish really exist. And then me and my colleagues have been working to try and find it. It's been billions of dollars. You know, for 15 years. And I say, look, there's a goldfish you can clearly see. And there's, there's no goldfish in there. But, you know. If there's a goldfish then, then I prove my point. And if I was a jury member and dark matter were on trial, this photograph wouldn't sway me, you know? The animation below shows an artist's representation of the huge collision in the bullet cluster. Hot gas, containing most of the normal matter in the cluster, is shown in red and dark matter is in blue. During the collision, the hot gas in each cluster is slowed and distorted by a drag force, similar to air resistance. Wasn't that a show back in the 80s? Drag force, similar to air resistance. In contrast, the dark matter 
is not slowed by the impact because it does not interact directly with itself or the gas except through gravity and separates from the normal matter. Dark matter over at symmetrymagazine.org. They study the dimensions of particle physics. December 17, 2013. Four things you might not know about dark matter. How much do you really know about dark matter? I don't know jack shit, man. And Jack left town like two months ago. I just know shit. That's why I know about dark matter. And that's being honest. Symmetry looks at one of the biggest remaining mysteries in particle physics. Top priorities. I mean, finding dark matter. CERN. There's a name you can trust. Why does that picture of Vera Rubin make her look like Elton John? That's not very nice, guys. Dark matter is five times more prevalent than ordinary matter. It seems to exist in chumps around the universe. Oh, I'm sorry. Clumps did it again. Dude, so I don't mean to burst your dark matter bowl, but looks like bow shot, bro. This is direct proof of something. I'm not sure it's dark matter. And then over here, we got stuff. And then there's more stuff over here. See this? Dark matter. Shazam. I'm lost and surrounded by nothing but dark matter. Dark matter. Hey, somebody's pulling my dark matter leg, man. All right. Some of the mystery sources could be clouds of dark matter, something that's never been seen before. Dark matter. Dark matter. Dark matter. Dark matter. Gold. Dark matter. Dark matter.